Hello there everybody, my name is Logi Unemployed and today we're going to take on Mars. That's right, our little let's try for the evening is going to be this very interesting Martian space program simulator. Now, for those of you who are into space sim games, this is kind of a mixed bag really. There is a, uh, you know, uh, I don't know how to describe it, there's kind of like a hardcore robotic segment and then more of like a simulation-y uh, first person manned segment. So we're going to check out both today, but I don't really have time in this video to go into them in depth, and both of them kind of do require quite a large amount of time investment to fully understand. Um, this game has not done well, to say the least. I picked it up years ago, back when it was in early accents. This is made by the uh, the same people who made DayZ, which should tell you a lot about its development cycle. <laughs> it's Bohemia Interactive. And so they kind of started it off, pumped out a lot of updates, and then it just sort of stopped. Um, it's got a decent um, community, uh, the mod support is very good, uh, so you know there's a lot available on the workshop, a lot of patches and things that kind of get the game going, get it more interesting, get more content in there, but there is enough here for me to do a Let's Try video on, and you know if you see it on sale, pick it up because it's something different. So that said, a bit of a disclaimer out the way there, we're going to go ahead and click on the space program. But uh, Before we do that though, we can have a look at the scenarios option, which is very interesting. You've got plenty. We can sort of play as the Sojourner, uh, the Opportunity Rover, Curiosity Rover, the Serenity Probe, which is like a zero-g simulation. I'm too stupid to be able to do that, so I'm not even going to try. Uh, we also got Ilios, which is now this is sort of getting into the fictional stuff. Um, this is kind of... Uh, uh, the game's law is that there was like an Expedition 1 to Mars and they landed there and stuff crashed and got destroyed and that's sort of the man thing. There's a mining simulation, Lost Outpost, which is sort of everything you need to get going. And then they've got Europa in recently, which is quite interesting. And this was a, um, so this is like sort of like a submarine, uh, which is pretty cool. Each of these, uh, you know, scenarios deserve an episode on their own, so we're not really going to have time to go into them. But today I'm going to look at more of the campaign-y aspects of the game because I find them more interesting. Uh, I'm going to restart the game because I basically just played 20 minutes just to see what was going on. So first things first, we're going to check out the robotics as planned. Uh, oh, got a nice little intro track there. Very cool. The load times are pretty good, I've got to say. And I like this. It starts us off in 1971 with the first ever uh, manned mission or the first ever mission to Mars, which was, of course, the Mars 3 station deployed by the Soviets. Okay, so now we have to hold down uh, right click. We have to right click to get our cursor up. We're going to go ahead and deploy things. And we can see it happen there, very nice. Okay, now we're going to uh, wait for the rover to deploy. So one of these buttons, ah, that one, there we go. Okay, and now we are controlling the rover. And as you can see, it's tethered by this little thing and it moves on these little tracks. So if I hold W, we will move forward. Beep. There we go, we just have to control it for 15 seconds. You can see the goals there in the middle. And this is, uh, it's kind of incredible how far we've come since these days, isn't it? Uh, they didn't even have cameras at this point, so obviously, you know, this is a, a true simulation of what would be visible. And now I think it's time to uh, take some instruments. So let's go up here to the Instruments tab, and uh, we have our Mars Soil Analytics, and we're going to click Analyze. And now we just have to wait a few seconds, and boom, there we go. Now we, we skip forward many, many years to uh, to the new the new probe. So an interesting fun fact about Mars while we wait is that 50% uh, of all probes we've sent there have failed to some degree. Okay, so obviously we won't be able to use uh, real time. This is a very interesting addition. It's literal real time in the game. So if you choose real time, then if something takes, you know, six hours to research, you have to wait six hours in real life. It, it you know, it happens when the game's not open and uh, it's based on your system clock and that will determine whether or not the time has been completed. It's, it's definitely a more of a laid back armchair kind of thing. That's why I say it's a mixed bag, but we're gonna use game time to allow time slipping, skipping, obviously. Uh, I'm gonna skip that tutorial because we don't need any more. So what we're going to do is go ahead and uh, begin our first mission. So we click here on the big screen and uh, we just skip the tutorial there, thank you. And we can choose our first site to drop in on. So uh, there's good old Olympus Mons, the big pimple itself. Look at it, it basically sticks outside of the Martian atmosphere. It is huge. Uh, so that one there is not too small either. But let's uh, let's go ahead and skip forward time a little bit so it's daytime. We don't want to be dropping probes in the dark. You know, that would be kind of embarrassing. Um, it's Victoria Crater. Yeah, we've got four options here. So these are potential mission sites. At the very beginning, we can basically just send down some camera probes. So we're going to build a new probe. Click Construct Vehicle. 
which brings us into the probe construction screen. So now, as you can see, this is our probe structure, and we have various components we can install. We need certain things in order to complete the mission. We need a camera and a power source. So let's start with the battery. We'll stick that right there. There's only one slot. And let's go ahead and add in a camera. Uh, let's go with the wide angle camera. It says here, basic black and white scan imaging and suitable for taking panorama pictures of the surrounding terrain. So that's for after we've landed. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and launch with that. So now we've set, set our area. We can choose our exact land point uh, if we want to. Here we go. You can kind of just click around. But as long as you're within the uh, target area, you will make the money. Um, so we're just going to get it dead centered. Awesome. And click launch. Now, from what I've experimented with, it doesn't make much difference exactly where you put that. And um, the terrain loading in is not exactly immersive, uh, to say the least. But it, I do like the way that they've you know done a good job of simulating what sort of stuff we'd be able to see. So I'll bring up my mouse and we can go ahead up to the camera mode. And uh, we can start taking some pictures. And these are actually stored. You can go ahead and review these again if you want to. Uh, we can also have a look at our mission. Uh, we've got to take photos, I think, right? Uh, all tasks of major value must be carried out. Well, what is the major value? We can switch to night mode, which will just wash us. It's too dark. And explore has been completed. Oh, let's snap some pictures of those rocks there. Oh, very nice. Oh, yeah. Move for me, baby. Pout. Pout, rocks. Pout. Oh, beautiful. Look at those panoramic shots. Okay, I'm seeing some dunes coming in in the sand. Here's some ripples. Barely dunes at the scale, I suppose. Oh, let's snap another one there. Catch those boulders on the side. Oh, one more. And there's our shadow. Boop. And we've hit the ground, let's hope we fall over. And we did not, so we get some annoying clipping. Oh, come on, fall over, fall over, fall over. Oh, please. Uh, it doesn't look like we're going to. Okay, so that's kind of the beginning of the game. Uh, but we're pretty much done, so we can go ahead and save a connection. We're going to go to Control, Disconnect, and Select. There we go. Uh, for some reason, the game has tutorials for everything over here, but absolutely nothing in game. So it doesn't really tell you how things work. We can have a look at our agency's ob objectives, though. So they want us to do 10 basic missions mapping the surface of Mars. Pretty tedious, if you ask me. 14 if you want, like, a financial bonus. We can also do some Deimos mapping, which is Mars's moon, of course. Uh, in fact, actually, if we go here, have we unlocked Deimos yet? Uh, Mars orbits. Yeah, that's what we want. All missions in this location have been completed. Okay, what about Deimos? Can we spy him? Over here. Next, Deimos. Oh, there we go. We can go do some Earth. <laughs> can we send missions to Mars Island? I mean, we technically could, but nah. We got Earth, Deimos, Mars, the asteroid belt. We've got the moon. We've got Europa. So, you know, you can, you can go all over the place, which is super cool. Let's go to Deimos for a second. Okay, uh, this creature looks kind of interesting. Uh, nothing else in the area? Nah. Let's go check out this one here. So we'll send our last edited vehicle, the same one, sure. And we're just going to go ahead and throw that onto Deimos and just, just see what we see. Maybe we can see something different for a change. Okay, so obviously we're still very... Ooh, there we go. Now we're getting some interesting geographical features. Okay, let's go ahead and bring up the camera. Snap, snap a few pickies for uh, scientific posterity. We can go ahead into night mode, but as you can see... You know, considering how much night, how much light there is, we're just going to be completely washed out. We can also turn on our light um, for night photos, but that's not necessary at present. There you go, the altimeter is kicked in. It kicks in at about a thousand meters. And uh, let's snap some photos of the terrain coming in. Oh, we're moving pretty quickly. Come on, thrusters, fire. Fire. Oh, there we go. As far as I'm aware, missions aren't able to fail. At least, you know, not with your intervention. Okay, so we've begun our initial uh, slowdown. And now we're just going to slowly drift because there's like no, uh, what do you call it, gravity on Deimos. And as we can see over here, if we move over to navigation, select the aerostationary satellite and uh, click center, we can actually see a 3D version of what exactly is going on, which uh, I really do enjoy. Can we move this panel? No, it doesn't look like it. All right, let's go ahead and snap a few more photos as we come in. And as you can see, we're about to impact. Boom. There we go. Touchdown. And we're going to fall over. Excellent. It will allow us to take some uh, better photos, basically, of what's going on here. Okay, let's see what we've seen. Okay, so the probe is horizontal. Ooh, very nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, and there are the stars coming into view. Oh, probe somehow fallen onto its head. Whoa, there's Mars. That's a pretty cool photo. Jeez, let's just go ahead and look at that for real. 
Excellent. And that blue cursor you saw popping up in the corner, that's other objectives in the area. So if you're like controlling a rover or something, you can go ahead and use those ones. So let's disconnect from this bad boy and then I think let's jump into uh, the basics here. So the tech tree is quite expansive. Um, if you want to see, for example, what it would take you to build a small rover, you click here and you have to follow all the threads. So we would have to buy the mobile chassis, uh, research it, sure, and that takes how many hours? 10 hours, okay. And it costs 100,000 credits, which was uh, a third of our money. If we would have to get internal electronics, 100k, cool. Uh, we would have to get uh, 250k here. There we go. We Oh, we had 3,000, never mind. We could get the low range antenna, sure. We could get the heat resistant electronics. We could get medium carbon steel. We could get, uh, ooh, an air cushion restraint system. We'd have to research the atmospheric entry aerodynamics first, though, in order to get that. And you can sort of check this for all the things. So if you've got certain mission types, or passive instruments, or antennas of various sorts, yeah, and it's all simulated, and it's all interesting, but none of it's particularly, you know, engaging, I'd say. Uh, and that's kind of the thing. So you kind of just progress through your various tech trees, you can build more complex crafts, and that's sort of it. So I think what we're going to do is go back to the main menu here for a second because I want to show you guys the manned aspect because that's the other half of this game. The robotics does go quite deep and you can you can do a lot, like a lot more than a lot of other games let you do except for like Purple Space Program, you know. Uh, it's, it's pretty damn good, I've got to say. So we're going to go ahead and restart the game and this time of course we're going manned because, you know, it's a lot more fun in my opinion. So this has a little story to it, which we're going to let our play, we're going to let play out in front of us. T minus 60 seconds and counting. All systems are go. T minus 30 seconds and counting. We're about 30 seconds from the launch of the Mars X transfer shuttle. We've got to go for auto sequence start. Hand off to the shuttle's onboard computer. Shuttle computer now in full control of all critical functions. T-minus 15 seconds. T-minus 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. All engines throttle up. 3. 2. 1. Booster ignition and liftoff of the Mars X Transfer Shuttle heading for the International Space Station where the crew will spend five days waiting for the arrival of the Mars Transfer Vehicle that will take them to Mars. Seconds into the flight. All systems nominal. Okay, so we're opening things up, and for some reason, the ISS has been completely abandoned. Um, and there's no one else leading us in, that... Not exactly realistic, but sure. Okay, initiating main computer. Running it in sequence. Checking basic routines. Okay, hibernation system online. Checking all systems. Commander, I'm getting a warning in the atmospheric checking procedure. Just a sec. Might be a leak. Okay, we shouldn't remove our helmets for now. Possible high ratio of ammonia in the atmosphere. The issue seems 
seems to be coming from the air filtration system in the tranquility module. Copy that, Mark. All solid copy. Until further notice, keep your suit and helmet on. Rod, do you think you could have a look at the atmospheric regulator system? Sure, Commander. I'm heading there now. Richard, please stay here and perform a detailed check of all ISS systems. Nick, head for the Leonardo module and run an inventory of all stock. Roger that, Commander. On the way. Okay, so we have got a problem with our air filtration. We need to uh, go ahead and sort that out. Oh, as you can see, the camera is super clippy. Ugh, I don't like it. It's not lag, it's, it's just clipping. Okay, so we're heading to the Zvezda module uh, to deploy the solar panels while someone else deals with the atmospherics. Okay, so we're just sort of slowly drift towards the next room and then we kind of clamber on over. It's a bit clunky hey Mark, for the light, and man. I really That's don't like how job. clippy the camera is. Mine, it's kind of a bit f frustrating, like, uh, yeah, I mean, I did mention it, you know, it's, the game's not particularly well finished. <laughs> oh, what's, what's down here? Let's have a little look. Oh, sorry, I got in the way. Just opened up to the vacuum of space, my god. <laughs> what's down there? Oh, that's one of the Russian modules. Yeah, look at that. That's all of their storage space. That that that, uh, that clampy hatch there with. Oh, come on, camera. This uh, this hatch here, I think, is a Russian hatch, right? Oh man, my my ISS knowledge is not what it should be. This looks Russian and utilitarian, but uh, I, at this point, I'm just spitballing. Okay, so let's go into Zvezda. That's definitely Russian. And yes, yes, I was right. That is the exact shape of the Russian hatches. Ha. Yeah, I feel like such an absolute nerd. Okay, let's pop the hood on that one. And uh, head on in. Oh, so many modules, so much docking. Okay, we're in Zvezda, and it's time to turn on the PC here. We got our laptop Velcro to the wall. And there we go. Inexplicably, the ISS's solar panels were retracted. Uh, I don't know what universe this is where the ISS has been completely unused for so long. Come on. But it seems to be a pretty good nick. No Great job, Mark. The MTV will be arriving in five days. I want everything to be ready for its delivery. We're going to test out the docking clamps. I need you to assist us for running a depressurization simulation of the Poisic airlock. All you have to do is activate the simulation from the interior panel. I'll watch the values from here. Alrighty. For any eventuality, just in case. You got it, bud. So where are we going? Uh, we need to go to the panels. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go to the panel. Gotta open up this one, I guess. Here we go. And we got some indistinct chatter in the distance there. Let's go ahead and scoot through here. And here we go. Okay, readings are nominal. Double ceiling, okay. Very nice. Still seems to be running pretty well. What have we got out the viewport? Okay. Ooh, Let's nice view of the radiators. To get a better look some at of the, the scaffolding there. All right, Commander. Solar panel. Let me get this straight. We'll do all Very the good. work while Mark will have it easy. Watch out when you're out, mate. If something happens, your life depends on me. Oh, you're right. Mark, I never told you how much I'm looking forward to going to Mars with you. <laughs> <laughs> Flattery won't work on me, mate. A little bit of banter there. I don't know why every single person on this mission is from England. Um, their space program at this point consists of one dude in Wales throwing rocks at the sky. So as the little flavor text there suggests, something went wrong on our Mars descent, and uh, we wake up on the surface. Where? Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Sh shit! My suit. Oxygen. Where is the emergency oxygen dispenser? Oh God. Uh, that looks pretty Come emergency. On. There we go. Let's grab that one. Yeah. Come on, stretch boy. Come Do on. your yoga. There we go. Oh, that's the good shit. Oh, yeah, baby. That's better. You bet it is. Okay. How do you actually get three okay. minutes of oxygen? What world? In what world? 
gonna... You got like rocks through you? What's wrong with you, buddy? Come on, move. Oh. Ouch. Um, guess we're having a little nap. Uh, bear with me here. Oh, there we go. We've decided to wake up. That that only took 30 seconds. Uh, uh, I'll give it to the voice actor. He is committed to the role. It's it's pretty good. Oh my god. What the fuck? What happened? Shit. Where's, where's everyone? I've got to find more oxygen. And repair my suit. That's otherwise I'm screwed. Good idea. Oh, look at that. Okay, E to grab the object. I think we have it now, right? Uh, okay, now it's we have it. What do I do with it? Click on it. No. Uh, shit. Um, what what do I do with this? Oh god, I just threw it away. I need that. Come back here. Oh god. Okay. Um, is that? Ah. Oxygen container, yes. Press I to access my inventory. I can use it to refill my suit. Right click, refill oxygen. There we go. Oh, okay. Get the hell out of here. There we go. Yeet. It's gonna Kobe that boy. I probably should have kept the other one. Um, where did I throw that again? There goes one. One of these things is not like the others. Oh, okay. This camera is super glitchy, I'm sorry. Can we, uh, I'll open you up? Open inventory? Uh, we got some suit patch kits. Nice. Put that in the small inventory. Uh, let's go ahead and put that in our hands, and then we can patch our helmet. Yeah, there we go. Can we, that's all? Okay, cool. So we're not hemorrhaging oxygen anymore. We're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and keep this one. Keep that in the old bag. Oh, nice. Nice little addition there. Reminds me of the Martian. Oh no, it's it's Mark. Oh, buddy. Shit. Yeah. Oh god. Nick. Oh, it's Nick. I'm sorry, I, I couldn't see through the spacesuit, Mark. I mean Nick. Oh, buddy. Let's uh, let's go ahead and take his stuff. Though we're gonna take that flare. Thank you kindly. Let's actually go ahead and uh, put that on so we can find him again if we need to. Uh, inventory, right? Pick it up. It's really clanky. Oh, uh, we can't use that yet? Okay. I guess we don't want to strike the flare. Uh, so what are we doing next? What's the next objective here? Uh, refill oxygen times dose. I need to find more O2. Okay, well, I accidentally uh, threw away <laughs> the other canister, so I guess we got to go on a bit on an O2 hunt here. Uh, what's in here? What's in here? What's in here? A couple of road flares. Uh, I don't think I need those right now. Um, those would be a good source of CO2 later if we wanted to burn them. I, I'm assuming they burn with CO2. I, I legitimately don't know. Anything in here? Oh, that looks like something to me. O2? Yeah, bro oh, it's broken. Shit. Another canister. That one looks good. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. That should do it for now. All right, we got 20 minutes of oxygen. That's a lot less than you would have. You probably have close Hello? to a couple hours. Anyone? Uh, broken box. Do you hear me? Get out of here. Bloody hell, where are you all? God forbid. Don't tell me. Damn it. Be nightfall soon. I need a pressurized shelter to survive the night in. You need to have made Think. better life choices. Think. Okay, okay. If I remember correctly, we had an emergency pop tent in our landing supplies. I have to find it. Okay, we gotta find the emergency oh my God, pop tent. I can't tent. see anyone. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, we're running, we're running. I mean, maybe we're not dead? I don't know. Okay, so, like, I went the wrong way initially. <laughs> we just needed to turn right. Look what's left of it. Okay, let's pop the inventory. Oh, oopsie. Uh, hold E. There we go. Oh, we got some water. Yum. Can I drink that? Yeah. Freaking chug a liter. Yeah, baby. Oh, I only drank 160 milliliters? Weak. Okay, I don't know how that isn't frozen solid, but okay. Uh, is this our pop tent, maybe? We got some roast beef. Let's, uh, let's eat some. Okay. Okay, what's in here? Is this our pop tent? That's water. I don't see a pop tent. Do we have a light I can put on? Yeah, we do. Ah, there it is. Great. It's this thing. 
Okay. Bucket seems intact. Cool. I have to find the right spot to set it up. Sure, sure, sure. No doubt, no doubt. Some flat ground in a close area would be perfect to deploy it. Flat ground in a close area. This sounds pretty perfect. Okay, so how do I deploy you, brother? Brother. Okay, how do I rotate things? Uh, insert to rotate this away. Ah, there we go. Okay, deploy pop tent. Perfect. I just left. I have shelter now, so I better look for some supplies. I need food, water, and oxygen for the tent if I want to survive the night. Got you. Come on, move your ass. You can do it. Oh God, I'm sorry. The pressure. Okay. Um, we need oxygen, right? So, oh, I think I did something. Okay, because that was an auto save. Aha. Well, here's the oxygen. Get out of here, shrapnel. Definitely da not dangerous to be Great. handling you. I can use this oxygen tank to pressurize the pop tent. Let's go put that in there. Uh, it should snap, right? There we go. Okay, oxygen barrel complete. Is that... Wouldn't it be a tank? Okay, barrel, sure, whatever. Now we need some uh, prime beef steak. We got the water we need. Get gone. Pick it up, throw it away. Pick it up, throw it away. Water. Uh, there was some yummy st Oh, there we go. What's this? That's steak. I bet you. Yeah, it is. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's, let's that should get me through the night. There's nothing more I can do now. Alrighty, time to nap. Okay, well, let's uh, definitely not continue the search for our survivors. Nope, nope, nope. Not that. None of that. That'd be silly, right? Okay, so how do I pressurize the tent? Ah, we gotta look down here and cycle the airlock. That makes a lot of sense. Probably, probably could have worked that one out myself. Okay, cool. So, tent has been pressurized? Yeah? Good. Good. Okay, what's in, what's in here? Cycle, done. So now, I go to sleep? Ah, down there. Uh, interior pressure difference is too high, cycle first. Okay. So we gotta evacuate it? How do I do this? Cycle it back. Okay, put that oxygen back in the tank. Sure, sure, sure. No doubt, no doubt. Okay, then we open the tent. Indeed. Gonna scooch on in here. We're gonna... Ah, I see. Then we're gonna close the tent. Cycle the atmospherics. Aha, exit is safe. We can go ahead and stash our helmet and suit. And uh, have a little sleepy sleep. Man. How could this have happened? We followed protocol. I'm alone. I'm completely alone on this rock. My crewmates, my friends, gone. Oh my god, even in the animation they script, you still clip through everything. <laughs> That's just... Oh. <laughs> you can see why this game has really poor reviews on Steam. But it, it is an interesting attempt you know, at something different. It's something hardcore and realistic. It, it was just never fully realized. Uh, and it's got some interesting topics and poetry and, you know, someone said something on the moon in 2026. log 18 03 slash B. The date is the 14th of July 2026. Location Taurus Littrow Valley. Live from the moon. Today's subject specimen 3B, batch 6. Only two of eight seedlings have begun to sprout. This genotype does not... This is Moonbase Explorer 1. Mark, do you copy? Copy, this is Explorer 1. What is it, Nick? Nick, I'm going to have to interrupt you there because that is all we have time for today. If you guys would like to see more Take on Mars, then, you know, drop a few comments letting me know. Join the Discord server, have a chat about it. Maybe even hit a like button. I don't know, it's your choice. Hit a like button. doesn't even have to be this like button. Go outside, draw a light button in the sand, and punch it. That'll that'll do the trick, I don't mind. Anyway guys, um, if you'd like to see more, I'm willing to do it, but you just have to let me know. That has been Take On Mars, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.